All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are going to be talking about the T29. This is a tier seven American heavy tank with the exact same hull as a tier nine American tank to sure, as well as several uh, tier eight American heavy tank uh, premiums. And I just want to talk about this tank. And it's a great tank. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, one of the best, I think, heavy tanks at tier seven at least. And just kind of a unique thing about it is that it also carries that hole all the way up to tier 9, which I think is pretty cool. You know, it means you basically are playing a tier 9 tank. Like, you don't feel like you should be in tier 7 because you're playing a tank that's almost identical to a lot of tier 8s and tier 9s uh, in its look, at least. Obviously, the statistics are much different. Uh, we are going to be looking at those statistics now, and... You are sitting, well, at least with the provisions I have, at a, fit, a very healthy 1,635 HP. You can see the armor on this tank is pretty fantastic. 279 on the turret. Basically an impenetrable turret besides a very hard-to-hit hatch. Um, it's a great turret. Uh, the uh, hull is also pretty strong. It's hard for a lot of tier 7s and basically all tier 6s uh, uh, to penetrate the hull with regular um, ammunition, so you can get a lot of ounces there as, as well. Your DPM is just over 2,000. You have a 9 second reload for a 310 alpha gun. Pretty uh, decent pin as well on here, especially your APCR penetration, and an amazing 10 degrees of gun depression, which really allows you to utilize that turret. Unfortunately, it isn't the most accurate gun here with a 5.8 second aiming time and a 0.392 dispersion, which is pretty bad. Uh, the tank is, you know, kind of an average speed heavy tank here. We have 35 kilometer an hour top speed uh, forward and 14 in reverse. So it's nothing, you know, horrific on the speed, but it's nothing special either. Um, now we're going to get into a replay here of the T29 on Port Bay, and we're just going to be talking about the playstyle of this tank. So this tank, um... It took me forever to get to this tank, honestly. I should have gotten this tank a long time ago. I've been meaning to go up the E5 line for ages. It's now, like, one of my last, like, three or four lines in the entire game I need to go up, which was really surprising because it used to be an amazing tank. I should have gotten uh, gone up that uh, line way, way sooner. Uh, I don't really know why I didn't, but I didn't. But, yeah, this is about the T29, not the E5. So you can see here the speed, you know, it takes a little bit to start to get up and going. It, it isn't the fastest tank, but of course it's a heavy tank, uh, and that's one of the compromises of having a heavy tank. So this uh, this game is going to be pretty good here, and you're going to see just how effective this tank is going hold down, and as well how strong this gun is on the tank. The gun is really nice, because of course it is a higher alpha gun for a lot of tier 7s. There aren't very many 310 alpha or 400 alpha guns at tier 7, so you do feel like you have a lot of damage coming out of that gun, and especially when you're top tier, you really are... Uh, quite a formidable opponent. Now we got a really nice snapshot on that IS-2 Berlin. I was really surprised that went in because this really is not the most accurate tank out there. Uh, we're going to go for another shot here on the sphere and we get a little bit of a lag on that shot so it's really good that guy just stayed where he was. And you can see so far we have one bounce damage, two, uh, two bounces, and we did just get shot with HE from that, uh, what was it, the IS-2. I mean he already knew right off the bat there was no way he was pinning that shot. Uh, because of the fantastic turret armor on this tank, so he just went ahead uh, and shot HE, uh, which honestly is the smart thing to do. So there's some ac accuracy coming in clutch right there for an amazing miss. Not sure how that even happened, uh, but we're going to pop the adrenaline here. SU-100 YA right here, really just letting us farm him. Uh, no clue what he thought was going to happen right here, but, you know, <laughs> GG, bro. Uh, get him down to a one-shot now. Each team is six, uh, it's a 6v6 currently, and we're already up to 1300 HP. We are getting shot from that Chaffee a little. He is in a pretty good spot over there on that corner, and we do need to watch out for him. We get a nice shot onto the WZ Blaze, bounce the Chaffee, and fortunately he is taken out by our Jag Panzer. IS-2 is now flanking us kind of from the side, so we do need to watch that guy. He's going to come up behind and wreck our TDs pretty much. Uh, we're going to go try to get on this sphere here. Now we are up to 2k damage, and as you can see, that IS-2 uh, kind of wrecks our uh, TDs. They really probably should have done a better job with him right there. Um, not sure what the HTC was doing. He has great DPM, and yeah, he's not really shooting him at all. Um, so yeah. Uh, I guess, well, wait, never mind. I forgot the T-150 was there at all. Uh, sorry, T-28. Anyway, 
So IS2 Berlin now is pushing our Jag Panzer, and we do get a shot into him. And I don't realize the Blaze takes him out. I thought the IS2 shot right there, and unfortunately that brings me down to a one shot here. I thought I was going to die to the T150, so I do uh, go for a shot on him because I was already facing him. But fortunately we bounce him. We're going to go try to get into a hold down position here. We get one more shot in, and I need to back up here, and unfortunately he reloads just in time before I'm able to back out. So we are going to win this game. I thought it was a really uh, nice game still though. 3,700 damage, uh, 1,100 bounce damage from the tank. And yeah, this is just a fun tank that I definitely enjoy playing. Uh, this battle goes on for about another minute or so. It went on way longer than it should have. The sphere really had a lot of trouble taking out those last two opponents. But yeah, T29, amazing tank. It's one of uh, the better tier 7 uh, heavy tanks, definitely for sure. Um, two zero damages on both teams, that is funny. Uh, Sphere's not doing very good on the other team, as you can see. Uh, not sure what happened to those guys right there. But yeah, T29, fun tank, great. Um, kind of makes up for the T32, the next tier 8 tank that's really not the best tank out there. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.